So we're going to have absolutely tremendous light. Fingers and I'm crossed. going to get a world class shot, and you'll probably get a half decent shot. Yeah, second rate, like. Yeah, yeah. On this week's episode, we are back to the incredible adventures that myself and photo tripper had in stunning Donegal. And for this one, it meant a colossal hike across some of the best cliffs I've ever seen. And I finally realised that phasma, as Gavin calls it, is a real thing. Join us for more shenanigans, views and, of course, photos. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And now we're joined by Mr. Bernard Geraghty, who said, let's go for a small walk. Now, Bernard is a bit of a mountain goat, so a small walk for Bernard is a big hike for me. And as you can tell by my voice, it isn't easy. But have a look at the views that we have because they are absolutely incredible. <laughs> Bernard fashion he said it's a very very short hike we're now three hours into the hike and we're only halfway there but we still have all of this here behind me to go but yeah the views so far have been insane Bernard uh, how much more have we got two and a half hours uh, maybe for yourself yeah on a guide another half an hour so half an hour for ordinary people but it's all downhill yeah as you can see I tilt the camera up there to go downhill. Yeah, but it's been amazing so far. The views along the way are insane. And I think if we look behind at the sky, it may kick off. Who knows? We'll see. But either which way, I think it's going to be stunning. <laughs> Earlier when I said that we were three hours in, I was kind of joking. But Bernard also said that we've only got half an hour left to go. And he was most definitely joking because we've got probably halfway there now. So probably got another four and a half hours to go and the sun will be set. I almost fell off the cliff. The sun will be set by the time we reach there. But have a look at the place that we're going to and the views that I'm now looking at. Look at that, it is stunning. So we're going all the way to the edge of that and then down towards that stack. Hopefully we make it in one piece. I'm really looking forward now to seeing what the destination is like, but you know, the journey has been interesting nonetheless. But we'll get there and we'll get there just in time, I think, for hopefully some incredible light. <music> So uh, tell me, Gavin, what do you reckon about our five and a half hour hike we've done so far? I thought it was seven. Well, it's from five and a half, I think. Like, but right. It feels like seven, I think. Yeah. That, that's just one way as well, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Because yeah. like, we have to go all the way back up there. So you know, Bernard did say that it was all downhill. Yeah, he's, he's, he's full of it, that guy, isn't he? Was he talking about life or was he talking about the way from here? <laughs> <laughs> it is all downhill from here. like. So yeah, what do you think of the views on the way? Oh, absolutely spectacular. We're going to get some... Uh, Juicy shots. I think if we get, if that blue stripe sticks around, yeah, that stripe there, and then the sun sinks into it, right here. I reckon one hour before, I reckon one hour before sunset, we're gonna have absolutely tremendous light, Fingers and I'm crossed. gonna get a world class shot, and you'll probably get a half decent shot. Yeah, second rate, like, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Worthy of a book. We'll talk about that later. Okay. All right, Amanda, what do you reckon? Is it fun? Yeah, <laughs> I like it. 
So yeah, we're nearly there. We're just going down behind us here. I think Bernard being the mountain goat is gone, but yeah, we'll find him anyway in a moment. But it's been an amazing journey so far. Hopefully we get the light. I've set up my first shot and I've taken a photograph here. I'm at the widest that I can go, which is 16 mil. Now, I do have another lens and I put it on, which is 14 mil. And I was thinking those two extra mil would make a much of a difference. They did, but not enough. Now, I'm getting pretty much the entire expanse here of the main elements that I want to see, which is this piece that's out here. And now as I talk, there's some rays that are actually just coming in behind that as well. So there's rays here, Gavin, coming in on the other side. And there, as I nearly get taken out by this monster. Um, but with the first shot that I've taken, there's the monster. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> so with the first shot that I've taken here, I think it's nice even though the sun is up. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to throw on the polarizer and just see can I get rid of any of the glare that I have in the water below. Have to be careful obviously using that because I don't get any banding in the sky. But I'll talk you through here what the difference and I'll show you actually like I normally do by recording on the camera what the introducing the polarizer will do. But I think it's going to darken up the water here nicely. We are getting some god rays now or crespicular rays that are coming down as well just over here. So I'm going to grab this shot and hopefully catch a couple of them anyway in the frame. So if we look here in the back of the camera, what the camera sees, as you can see here, I'm getting this element here, which is the outside of the cove coming all the way back in here and then over to the other headland. So we've got this here, you've got a stack that's just below me, then this one, then this one. And the sun now is coming from the left hand side here. Now I've got the polarizer on, but I don't have it engaged. So if I now twist the polarizer, if you watch down here, which is the area in question, it's going to make that a lot, lot darker. If I go too far like that, it makes it brighter. But right about there, I think, is the optimum. And what that also allows me to do as well is get a slightly longer exposure because it adds an element of neutral density as well into the film. Also, if I turn it the other way, I can actually change the sky. And you can see the sky in the top right hand corner here going bright and then dark again. So you just be careful in relation to that because if you have that and you're not balancing it right, you can end up then with one side of your image totally different color to the other. Now, obviously with the sun that's coming from here as well, it's a completely different scene, but I'll give you a look at the shot without the polarizer and I'll give you a look at the shot with the polarizer and then hopefully we'll see that light will start to dip down here, not be as harsh as well and give us a nice glow onto the face in front of us. But for now, I'll give you a look at this anyway and then yeah, we'll check in again once the light changes. So as we're getting closer now to the sun setting, we had some nice light hitting this headland. So I just changed the camera to point over to that headland itself. And I still think that was even a nice shot. It's interesting actually here because Bernard has been here. <laughs> Bernard was here, but he's a bit camera shy there, which is unusual. But yeah, Bernard has been here before and he's gotten some great conditions and great light. So hopefully we get now rewarded as well. We're not long, probably, 45 minutes, I'd say, until we get the best of the light. 
But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes anyway. It's good fun here with the guys. There's some good laughs. Gavin is uh, entertaining everybody, so, you know, that's what he does best, I suppose. But Bernard now is trying to give him a run for his money, all right? If you want to see some good skits, you have to check out Gavin's video from here. Now I think we are being treated to an incredible light show. The clouds here, to a word that I kind of heard before, but I've heard it so often now is painterly. So I think it's you know copyright to this man over here. But uh, yeah, it is stunning here. And also as well now, the high atmosphere clouds are really starting to catch the light. We're getting some great texture in them as well. It'll be difficult for me to show you here, but I'll try and give you a look. It'll probably be overexposed. You can kind of see it here if I make me darker. But yeah, it is incredible. So far, so good. Let's see now how everything transpires. We're going to hang out for sunset, obviously, of course. And I think we're going to hang out as well a bit after that for a blue hour because we'll get some beautiful long exposure shots as well here. I've taken a mixture of quick shots. We got a sun star when the sun was just dipping over here as well on one of the headlands. And I've done a couple of long exposures as well. But yeah, wow, what a spot. The light is brilliant and I think it's even going to get better. We got a fantastic light show here. There's still a small bit of it left actually. The sun has dropped below here. And I do think that even right now, it's delivering some beautiful shots. I popped on my polarizer and my six stop and I'm going for a longer exposure now, taking two shots actually, one for the sky and one for below. But absolutely incredible. Just look around me here. It is insane, this entire area. So yeah, I think we're going to finish up anyway here rather soon enough because we have that six hour hike that we took to get here to get back. But yeah, absolutely epic spot and great crack as well with the lads. Great to have Bernard as well out to join into the fun and games that we had here as well today. What can I say, that was an epic trip. We got back there now after a pretty long hike and we had to hike in the dark, so I'm now back in the van and I'm going to camp up here in for the evening and get nice and comfortable. My legs are quite sore after that hike, but I think it was worth it. We had some incredible conditions and we also had phenomenal subjects as well to photograph. And the crack that we had amongst the lads actually was great. They're all off there now going back to their place and I've got the advantage with the van is I can stay here. I might get up in the morning, I'll see for sunrise, but I really don't think I actually will. I'm going to need the time to recover after that epic hike to that epic location and epic conditions. So thank you very much, as always, for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed coming along on the adventure with me. If it's your first time on the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. And if you want to watch some more episodes, I'd recommend this video here. And until the next time, Schlange Fall. <laughs>